Liquid crystal TVs. Anybody have a computer in the 70s? I thought you would. Did you have an LCD screen for it? Or did you have the glass CRT? Yeah. The Apple II? Yeah. What happened is the, the LCD technology is pretty impressive on, on two facts. It's longevity and the, the LCD panels, they're immune to burning, which is good too. If there's no phosphorus in the back channels of the TV, it's hard to burn into the pixel formation. And that's, that's where LCDs come into play. They, they have great longevity and the burn-in feature. So if you, like I'm doing right now, this is a plasma TV, it has, it has phosphorus in it, so if I left this screen on all night, well, it's gonna take more than a night, but if I leave the formation the same, I could burn into this TV because there is a phosphorus coating on the back side of the screen. But in LCD, you don't get that at all. And people buy them because they like the look in the kitchen. If you, if you put this, instead of having a, a 15, 16 inch deep uh, TV on the kitchen counter, you could have one that's about this deep. And it makes a huge difference. So they're sleek, they don't lose focus in the corners, and uh, never any burning for LCD. Now, with LCD, the thin panels, you have to be careful because once you start creeping up to 42 inches, I was talking to a sharp rep this morning, they're gonna make a 65 inch. Hopefully they'll be able to sell it at about 17,000 for a 65 inch sharp aquas. It's a beautiful TV, but it's, it's expensive to produce the LCD panels. And that's what he was explaining to me this morning. So any TV that's like, Sony makes a 42 inch plasma that sells it at $7,000 and they make a 42 inch LCD that cosmetically looks identical to it, sells at 13,000. So the LCDs are more expensive than plasma in flat panel.